Hello friends, welcome. So we have this application with uh, navigation here and we're loading the movies and of course we can click and go to the movies. And if I open the VS code, let's go to the views, movies. Yeah, we get the movies from this URL and display in the movie card. So let's go to the components movie card and we add here the router link and we hard coded this one but we can do better with view router so let's go in the routes index.js and here we can specify also the name so let's give it the name for this one as a home or you can say home page like this or what you like. I'm just going to say home and I'm going to do the same for the others. So let's copy and paste in here, in here also and in this one. Now we have for this one we have home, for this one we have the, uh, I'm going to name it about. You can name it what you like. For this one, I'm going to make to name it a uh, movie list. And for the for this one, I'm going to name, name it a uh, movie details. Like this. And now if we go in the movie card here, we can use this name we added to display the navigate to the to the, to this uh, URL. So instead of something like this, we can say go to the and here we need to specify the name. Okay, and we are going to add the name we added here. So copy and add that here. But also we need the ID. So we can say add now the params, which is going to be an object. And if we navigate here, we need the ID because here we added the ID. So let's say params ID, which is going to be the movie ID, movie.id like this. And now if I save and let's go back, go to the movies, come here, go to this one and everything works correctly. And that's okay. Now let's uh, go to the index because we can do more with the router view. Here we add the name, but also we can add the prop so let's say after this one i'm going to say props props like this and i'm going to say true and now if we navigate to this uh, component we need to, to define the props which is going to be true so let's go to the movie detail and in here I'm going to say after this one define props and we expect the ID which is going to be type string and also it's going to be required the true like this and we define the prop and the id what we added here this is the prop and we say props to true and we define props here and now we can say instead of something like this we just can add the 
ID here, but we need to create a constant and say props, people with the defined props, and now here we can say props.id, click save, go to the movies, select this one, go to the movies, select with this one, and everything works correctly. Okay. Or is it better idea to add this in the parse integer? So this is going to be an integer and let's add this one. Home, Doctor Strange. Okay, this is how we can uh, add the names. Also, we can add prop and use that prop in the file like this. That's it about this video, friends. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.